Welcome here to my country. We pay our respects to the Ma ancestors, grandmothers, grandfathers. For the Ma grandmothers, grandfathers and families, welcome. This here is our country. I'd like to take a, take a moment to acknowledge the surrounding tribes within the area. They are Chaparong, Kukopanut, Yarrawich, Jaburong, Karewarong. But most importantly, I'd like to pay my respects and acknowledge the people whose lands that we're standing on here this evening, and that is the, my people, the Pikarong people. To Nuktawul, thank you. Warrnambool College would like to say thank you to the Pikarong people of the Ma Nation, uh, where our meeting takes place today. We would like to we acknowledge their elders past, present and emerging. My name is Anthea Rafferty. Welcome to the opening of our first Indigenous Perspectives project. The Indigenous Perspectives project is a pilot program which has been funded by Warrnambool College, FRRR Gardner Dairy Foundation. It is a collaboration of local Indigenous peoples and emerging Indigenous artists and visual art teachers striving to build capacity in their teaching and learning. The project is underpinned by the belief that we can all develop a greater understanding of Indigenous culture, language and artistic practice through education. Our project strives to embed Indigenous culture within the curriculum by engaging with local elders, a language facilitator, in addition to artists within our community to support our learning. Emma Stenhouse is taking uh, the first steps on her journey in belonging and becoming connected with her Naranjiri heritage. An emerging artist, her work is predominantly inspired by nature. Connection to country, using elements of contemporary art and traditional iconography. Uncle Lockie, a Pikarong elder, has recently completed Certificate 4 in Teaching an Endangered Aboriginal Language at Swinburne University. Mel Stephenson, Indigenous Language Facilitator, is working with 17 local kindergartens to enhance connections to the local Indigenous community through art making and language. An integral component of the project is inclusivity for uh, students and teachers to engage with groups and organisations within the community. Uh, for example, Indigenous people, uh, galleries and organisations. Students have participated in a floor talk at the Warrnambool Art Gallery with Cherie Johnson, an excursion to Tower Hill, as well as having Indigenous people working within our classroom. I've had the pleasure of having Emma Uncle Lockie and Mel join me in my Year 8 Art Design and Year 10 Graphic Design classes. The weekly classroom incursions have um, included practical and theory based content with a focus on experimentation in 2D and 3D art making and applied design. We have learned about the message poles and yarning circle at the front of our school. The stolen generation, creating a personal story using natural resources, Indigenous icons, language, culture, local art making practices and artefacts, dyeing raffia, weaving, etching, mart making and product design. Our goal is to continue to enrich the educational experience for all students of Warrnambool College as this project is embedded in a range of other learning areas. I would now like to invite Emma Stenhouse to join us at the front. Thank you. Thanks, Miss Ruff. Um, I would just like to say thank you very much to Warrnambool College for inviting me to be a part of the first Indigenous Perspectives program. Uh, I am immensely proud as an emerging Indigenous artist and woman to be part of this program and to work with the wonderful staff and students. 
I'm also very proud of the work that they have created and I can't wait for you to see it all. Thank you. I'd now like to invite Mel Stephenson to join us at the front. Um, yeah, to everybody. Um, on behalf of Uncle Lockie and myself, um, we are honoured to um, have been asked to be a part of the pilot program here. It has been an amazing, an amazing experience. I don't want to get too emotional because I think I might at the moment. Um, to see uh, what the children, what the kids, the students have um, produced has been phenomenal. To see the connections that they've made um, with all of us. Um, and once again, I'm going to keep it really short and sweet, but I just want to say, uh, um, I'd like to say do, which means thank you to all the staff here uh, for welcoming Uncle Lockie and myself with open arms and um, for embracing our beautiful culture and language. Thanks, Mel. I'd now like to invite Claire Harris, Year 10 R. Thanks, Miss Raff. Um, it's been fantastic to have um, Uncle Lockie, to have Emma um, and Mel in our classes um, teaching us uh, all about Indigenous language, about Indigenous practice, and the kids have really benefited so much from um, their teachings, uh, not just artistically but also personally. We've seen a lot of the students um, become really passionate about their own story and sharing that with other people, and through using the element of art, um, they've been able to achieve great success and produce some fantastic pieces of work. So I recommend that you all come down and have a look and congratulate our wonderful students on their efforts. I'd now like to invite uh, Year 8 teacher, Marie Brennan. Uh, thank you, Ms Rapp. Um, I've played a very small part in um, this wonderful Indigenous Perspectives Unit with um, help from Mel and, of course, Emma, two wonderful artistic mentors for our students. We've used the medium of clay, inspired by um, some artefacts at the WAG, the Warrnambool Art Gallery. Come down, have a look at the beautiful lizards that the, our students have been um, building and etching. We're very proud. Uh, thank you. I would now like to invite Year 10 art teacher Yelena Lockett, please. Thanks, Anthea. I'm the Year 9 art teacher. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. um, yes, my name's Yelena Lockett, and I feel honoured and privileged to be um, working with such amazing people to have Emma, Uncle Lockie, um, Mel, and such gorgeous colleagues and wonderful students uh, being a part of this journey with us. Um, I'm incredibly proud of the program and I'm incredibly proud of what the students have achieved. Uh, they've ex explored and experimented and gone um, beyond their comfort zones and made beautiful artwork, including uh, working with of producing some colour graphs and lino prints, um, printing onto calico fabric, working with mixed media, working with clay. They've had a lot of fun, I've had a lot of fun, and I'm really excited to see how this program will develop in the future and how we can uh, become even further connected within our own school community and within the local community. So thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, look, it's been amazing um, and we're really fortunate to have a funding that will continue our Indigenous uh, Perspectives project and that will be continuing into Term 3 and into Term 4. Thanks everyone uh, and it gives me great pleasure to declare our Indigenous Perspectives project exhibition opening. Now I would like to um, just remind people just to stay online with, um, because you can't be here in person, we now have a live feed and that will um, give you a bit of an idea about um, some of the work that the students, students have been creating. Thanks very much. Um, my name is Hannah, I am a Year 8 student in Wonderful College. Um, this semester we've had some Indigenous people coming and helping us do Indigenous art like painting and weaving and it's really helped me to connect to my Indigenous culture.
Jula and I'm in the year 10 graphic design class and this term we've been learning about indigenous art and culture and this is a planter holder that I made and what we did was we drew our artwork using acrylic and I used watercolour and then we transferred it onto fabric and I made this little thing with a sewing machine.